Hey, I'm Tony K. Welcome to Transformation School. In today's lesson, we are going to look at a knockoff MP10 matrix of leadership. What we have before us is MP9 Hasbro release of Masterpiece Rodimus Prime, MP10 Hasbro release of Optimus Prime, MP22 Takara Ultra Magnus, and MP28 Takara Hot Rodimus. And while the MP10 Optimus came with a matrix of leadership, the MP22 Ultra Magnus was made to hold the MP10 sized matrix, but didn't come with one. And the same for MP28 Hot Rodimus. But but with a 10 to 20 dollar die cast knockoff matrix available on eBay and I'm sure some other sites we can fill all of our masterpiece figures with a matrix because there's a little satisfaction a sense of completion when you can open up either of these figures and see the bling inside their chest without having to pull this out of your mp10 every time we're also going to look at the two different matrixes that came with mp9 Rodimus this is the Optimus Prime's mp01 matrix which is quite a bit larger than the mp10 is not going to fit in there. And then MP9 also came with a little matrix in his chest, but that's much smaller than the MP10. And he probably wedged this in the Ultra Magnus chest. And the KO matrixes so far have come shipped in a little cardboard envelope that's all folded and taped up, wadded up in some bubble wrap and some more tape. And I've seen these listed for $10 US currency with free e-packet shipping from China. I've also seen these listed for $20, same free shipping. The two that I bought were listed at $10 and I don't imagine there's any quality difference between the two price ranges. And it's in a nice little baggie. I can probably reuse that later. So this is our new knockoff or KO matrix of leadership. Little blue translucent plastic in the middle. Smaller circle on one side, bigger circle on the other. And here's my first KO matrix. Let's see if we notice any differences. And of course we'll get the MP10 matrix out. There are definitely differences with the official matrix versus the KO matrixes. For starters, our official matrix has a bunch of flashing or paint in the cracks here, in the corners here, and in this a little bit in this corner over there, and some in this corner down here. Although the gold color on the official one is much more vivid than the two KOs. Also the detail in the crystal has sharper angles. These are a little more rounded on the KOs. So we have our official one here. The cuts, the grooves in between sections are much deeper than they are on the KOs. That does include the handle, but is more noticeable on these rings in the center. Same on the other side. Grooves are deeper on the official release than they are on the KO. And bringing in the MP1 matrix as the separating gimmick is made out of plastic, not die cast. And the MP9 matrix. I just line the matrixes, the matrices. I just line these things up for a thumbnail for the YouTube video. And here's our original Hasbro. These two are the knockoffs. And this one has a slightly better mold than this one. The lines on here are just a little bit crisper and cleaner. On here they're a little more blunted, so we could say they're a little sharper on this one. But there was no way to tell when ordering these exactly what kind of quality it would have when it came. I'm still satisfied with either one for $10 US. And we'll have a bit of a close-up as we put all of these matrix pieces in. Just looking at our MP9. Nice display is with him holding the MP1 matrix. MP28, Hot Rodimus. Here we have the official Hasbro matrix. I had a KO stick in his chest snugly once, twice, but most of the time it just falls out. Alright, that one's staying in. And of course, Optimus could hold the KO or the original, just to keep things organized. Keep the original here. I think I like seeing this wider circle in front. And Ultra Magnus. Piece snaps in really tight. Let's take a look at him with those MP9 matrixes just to see if or how well they work. All right, this is the large MP1. The measurement between this red piece and this gray section are near perfect fit for this MP1 matrix. So maybe the designers of Ultra Magnus 
figured that somebody might try to put this MP01 matrix in here. Seems like a better fit the other way. Okay, those pieces go up, I guess. Cool. And this doesn't really seem to close though. Nope, that ain't closing. Little teeny tiny matrix. Yeah, that doesn't really lock in in any way. So back to our KO. I think it's neat that we can see the matrix through those window sections. Because with these other guys, you can't even tell that they've got the accessory in there. And that is all for today's lesson, everybody. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed.